Today I'm going to do an experiment using the T-Expert tabletop coating epoxy. Now I know this dries really hard. It cures as a two to one ratio. So you need two part A, one part B. And I'm going to be using it in coasters. And the test I want to find out is whether this is heat proof enough to use a hot cup on it. Now I'm gonna make three different sizes of coaster to test this, a thin one, a one that we most of us use, and a different shaped one, which is a medium depth to these two. I'm not gonna do anything special to this, I'm just gonna pour it in. I'm also going to be using a few different colors and things in there, and then we can test it. Now remember, you need to mix this up as a two to one. I always start with the part A, put in the two times the amount in. I've got it clearly marked on my jug so I know exactly where to pour that up to and then I put the part B in. Mix it slowly and then pour it out. I'm going to do a clear one and the other ones I'm going to mix stuff in so we can do some comparisons with. A massive thank you to all my members whose names are coming up now. If you'd like to become a member of my channel and benefit from all the perks, the link's in the description below. Now remember, whenever you're making coasters, ensure that whatever you're adding, you mix in thoroughly because if not you'll have dry spots and different spots in it where the coaster may react differently. These ones I'm adding some glitter into because you know me I do love a bit of glitter and it will take two pots to fill this mold up. So filling these up and then popping any bubbles that come up leaving them to cure overnight and then we can demold them. What I'm gonna do now is put these somewhere nice and safe and flat for the next four weeks so that they can fully cure up properly and then we can do a little test on them to see how well they work with hot cups. These coasters have now been curing for about four weeks and this is the test that I'm going to do. I've got different types of mugs. <laughs> this is my mug. I wish I was a unicorn so I could stab idiots with my head. <laughs> my son bought me that. So that's a thickish mug. That's not too bad. That's, that's kind of a medium thickness mug. And that is a thinner, more china type of mug. And what I'm going to do is put them on there. Now I can assure you these mugs are all at room temperature. I haven't put these in the fridge or anything to cool them down first like I know some let's say unscrupulous people might do but I'm not doing that and I've got a flask of hot water I can't do it straight from the kettle because we don't have a kettle in our house oddly enough because we have a hot water tap so I'm pouring the water into these mugs while they're sitting on here to get the best from them I'm going to see if they stick or mark these coasters I'm going to quickly take that temperature and that's 158 Point 0.1 degrees in there in Fahrenheit, which is about 72.2 degrees in Celsius, which is roughly about what a hot cup of tea would be. And now we're going to leave those sitting there on there for about 15 minutes. And I think leaving them sitting on there without touching them for about 15 minutes is ideal because that way, if someone left their cup on a coaster, then we would see what happens. So timer 15 minutes let's start the timer and now we'll leave them there for 15 minutes and see what happens these have now had about 13 minutes sitting here and they are still fairly warm as warm as you'd expect lovely and warm on my hands anyway let's have a look and see what temperature they are so it's 122.9 degrees Fahrenheit and 51.4 degrees centigrade. So still quite hot. You wouldn't want to pour them over your hands. So we're going to let these sit uh, still for the whole 15 minutes and then we can check them. I'm going to warm my hands. <laughs> so these have now had 14 minutes and let's do another check on them. The so temperature in there is 51.4 degrees Celsius which is telling me it's high, which is 121.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And this timer is about to go off. There we go, that's that timer. So that's had a full 15 minutes sitting on there. And we can test to see if it's marked any of them. Well, none of them are sticky. There is no doubt about it. I can feel the warmth in here, but it doesn't seem to have held the heat in there at all, which is great. And the bottoms of these mugs are, yeah, are hot. 
And again, you can see here, let me just dry it because some of them are a little bit wet. So there we go. There's no mark at all on that one. It's not a bit sticky, which is excellent. The one with the glitter in, again, no mark on that one whatsoever. And the one with the mica powder on has left a slight water rim around it, but it's not sticky at all. And it hasn't certainly softened off the resin. So that's why I now am going to be using the T-Expert tabletop coating epoxy resin for my coasters because I can use that with confidence knowing that it is an 85 hardness which is excellent is self-leveling non-toxic and high gloss brilliant use of a resin for a product like this because I know how hard it is to get hold of a good heat proof resin if you found this experiment useful then please boot that like button it really does help me if you'd like to buy me a coffee then the link for that is in the description below and thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month it's people like you that allow me to buy the stuff and do the experiments that need to be done enjoy your resin Take care. Bye.